Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first, please live your absolute best life and make sure that you do what? Get an amazing laugh on every single day. Yes, yes, yes. So I took a day off, or sort of a day, it hasn't even been a whole 24 hours. <laughs> but I did take... um some hours off so I could focus on some of my hobbies, one of my hobbies that I love doing. And um, that was so relaxing and peaceful. And I'm so glad that I put that energy into something. And because um, it is coming out, it, it made me feel good. It was therapeutic. All right. So these readings are for, because I, you know, I didn't want you all to think that I took off like for something that's negative. It was actually something that I really needed to focus on. And I was like, this is so therapeutic. This is so good. So, praying that all that good energy that was flowing through me is flowing through these cards. <laughs> Let's get into a reading for my sign of Pisces. These are general readings. These aren't personal. Take what applies to you and leave the rest. We're going to see what is going on for the next three months, Pisces. We're going to see what is going on. These, again, are general readings. So it may apply to some Pisces. You know that there's three decans of Pisces. So it will apply to some Pisces, some Pisces. It will not. It also depends on where you are in your karmic cycle, okay? So take what applies to you and leave the rest. Cross watches, you're welcome here too. Okay, so on the bottom, you have the Seven of Swords here. So you may not be trusting your thoughts too much at this time. You may, your mind just may be going 100 miles an hour where you're kind of like watching your thoughts, watching, making sure you're thinking in a positive way. And that's you, you may be very good at manifesting. So you may be trying to like, you know, keep your mind in a good area. <laughs> you have the justice card here. Things are balanced. Something is balancing out in your life. And I get that you're trying to balance out the good and the bad within yourself, which you perceive to be the good and the bad about yourself. You do have the six of pentacles here. And that also speaks of like that karmic cycle and you investing into something to see it grow, um, to get some sort of return on something. I love that Pisces. Um, and it is, it seems, it's it appears to be that you're investing into, so maybe in the past you have invested into or you focused more on the negative things that were happening in your life. And I kind of feel like with these pentacles, these are like little gold nuggets that you're seeing about yourself that you like. Just little things here and there may not be a whole lot all the time. I don't get that narcissist kind of energy like you're thinking you're perfect about, you know, you're thinking you're perfect in every way. But I feel like there is perfection and imperfection with you and you're seeing this like the things that are not perfect about you you actually see that as beautiful um and you're learning to balance this out this good and this bad maybe you were you know always maybe all the negative things about you were always pointed out to you everything that was wrong with you was always pointed out to you so i get that you're in some energy now you're you're sort of controlling your thoughts but you're, you know, you're not letting that negative talk like take over your mind. Maybe you've done that in the past, um, but it looks like you're gearing more towards seeing the good in yourself. Like I said, those little nuggets of, you know, things, those imperfections, you're seeing the beauty, like the silver lining in something. You have the hangman here, taking a lot of time to reflect upon things in your life, you know, thinking about what got you to where you are mentally, what got you to where you are physically, you know, things in the past, what you paid attention to, what you didn't pay attention to. And with the father of cups here, with the, which is the king of cups, you're definitely looking at yourself in some sort of way um, where you want to feel that, see how this, this is all black and then you have this red uh, this the swan has this red beak and so it's like I see you being able to control your anger feeling safe within being feeling safe within knowing that everything isn't going to turn out perfect all the time in your life but you are equipped to deal with something in a beautiful way 
you do have the Ten of Wands here. And I do see, you know, you're working through, it's like working through the darkness of your own mind, working through all the negative things that you have been told about yourself, working through the things in your life that has not led you down the right path. You're dissecting that this has even, for some of you all, this may have even led to illnesses like um, the due to the amount of stress you had to deal with, um, possibly from negative self-talk or either just from always being, you know, people always finding something wrong with you. Maybe you were just around the wrong type of people where, you know, they constantly pointed out everything that was wrong with you instead of, you know, pointing out the good and the bad, They, you know, whatever. Um, so it does look like you're changing your perspective of how you see yourself. You're noticing the good things about you. You do have the seven of wands here. And so that does speak of you fighting, uh, fighting against things and people really standing up for yourself. So again, like how I kind of said about that imperfection, like there's perfection in your imperfections. It's like you're seeing clean through what was the truth about you and what isn't. So if someone, it's like you're building your own self-confidence. You're not waiting for someone else to tell you you're beautiful. You're not waiting for someone else to tell you you're handsome, you're intelligent, you're, you're, you have a nice personality or you're doing well for yourself. I don't see you what you're waiting for that. You're finding beauty. So maybe you're underweight, maybe you're overweight by society standards though. So maybe you're seeing the beauty in your weight. Maybe you're seeing the beauty. Maybe people constantly tell you how tall you are. And maybe you've had some sort of insecurities about that. Maybe they told you how short you are. Maybe you've had some insecurity. About it's something about you, Pisces, that, like I said, it's not perfect, but you're seeing it. It's perfect just for you. So, when people are throwing shots your way or those negative thoughts, self thoughts, those negative self, self thoughts kind of creep in and lie to you and tell you you're not good enough or you're not perp. You know what I mean? Like you're not. Why are you trying to do that, Pisces? Because, you know, this isn't this isn't going to work. It's like you're controlling your thoughts, these sneaky little thoughts that want to come in and make you unhappy. And then look at this Ten of Pentacles sitting right up under that. Um, yeah, so maybe you feel like you, you've you given, maybe you didn't invest into something the way you should have with this Ten of Pentacles. I kind of feel like the, that negative self-talk or believing the lies that you were told, you it's sort of like you've allowed that to kind of even um, redirect your steps in a way where you were sort of walking away from prosperity and it's like you're making a conscious choice to walk back towards that again. But it's because you're seeing things, you're seeing yourself in a new way with this hangman. You're seeing yourself in your imperfections from a different perspective now. You do have the three of wands, definitely going after something passionately um, and trusting yourself and not worried so much about what may happen. It's like you're almost throwing caution to the one I don't oh, I was about to say I don't see the fool card out here and here it is but I do and then you have this tower moment so the tower moment I kind of feel like everything in your life there could have been some sort of sudden change where everything kind of like crashed down and it was so meant to happen Pisces because this was how you were able to see the good in yourself and rebuild and throw caution to the wind. No longer are you like, oh my gosh, is this going to work? Is that going to work? Because I've been told I don't know how to do this or I don't do this well. Or, you know, it's like those sneaky little thoughts that you've been allowing to come back into your mind. You are getting to that point where you're just brushing it all away. Like, I don't even, I'm not even going to let that creep in my my energy because I you you're believing in yourself. Excuse me, Pisces. I got to keep my ice water with me. So you're believing in yourself in an amazing way. Um, and I get that sometimes you kind of feel like, why is it so hard to see the good in me or something like that? Like, I kind of feel like you, this has been a challenge. This is why I feel like some of you all have been told that you're not good enough or that you're not, 
you're not enough. And you may have believed that, but that was like, it's like you're seeing something. You're, you're learning to see the beauty in your imperfections. You're learning to see the beauty, the silver lining and things in your life that may have seen like these tower moments. You're seeing the silver lining in this. And it's helping you get through and fight through those things that may have stressed you out in the past or something like that. Why is this justice card here? Why is this justice card here? You have the four of wands. I mean, the four of swords and you have the queen of wands. So this is a process where you're learning to see yourself in a more beautiful way. This is not something that you have learned to do overnight. Um, Pisces, I guess some of you all are drop dead gorgeous or so freaking handsome. And you just have not seen yourself in that way. And I'm not talking about just on the outer. I'm not talking about the, you know, just outer beauty. I'm talking about your spirit glows. You know what I mean? Like, this is like that. You see that lamb? You see the lamb here? And then you see this, this, it's like this third eye opening. You're really seeing yourself in a different way. And I get this is coming in. These downloads are coming in almost like you're seeing yourself through new eyes. Um, in, a, in the beauty and you're and you're willing to protect this new way that you're viewing yourself you're willing to stand up for yourself um this innocence this this new vision this new perspective you're protecting that you're very protective of how you see yourself i get that this was something that um Maybe as a kid, you weren't told that, you know, maybe you didn't get a lot of inspiration as a kid or something. I don't know. But it does look like you're seeing yourself through new eyes. You could have had a loving parent. You could have had a loving parent or loving parents or some sort of beautiful upbringing. But maybe you there were times in your life where you ran into people that kind of made you feel a little self-conscious or a little insecure. You know, sometimes your parents could tell you that you're beautiful, you're you know, smart, everything a, a million times. But it's like when you go out in this world and you have people and you start to compare yourself, oh, this person is this way. Oh, that person is that way. Then every time you compare yourself to a new person, you sort of chip away at your own self-esteem. And I get that this kind of happened, or you may have come across some really mean spirited people who try to chip away at your self-esteem. But I get that you're slowly but surely seeing the beauty in you again. And that's an amazing journey, Pisces. So that even that that even balance is is happening in your life. This is what I see. Will of Fortune, yes, with the Six of Pentacles here. Karmic cycle finishing up, you facing karmic cycles, tapping into that inner, that innocence, that reminiscing about a time in your life where you weren't so worried about what people thought of you. This is what I see you moving back into. Not so worried about what people thought of you, what they think of you, what they say of you. You're just making sure that you love you the right way. Something about you seeing beauty in your imperfections. The hangman, why is this hangman here? Oh my gosh, Pisces. Like some of you all have just been on this amazing journey in life um, and you faced all kind of turbulent, you, turbulent obstacles and you've been on roads that were so, you know, and I'm metaphorically speaking though, like, it's like you've been on roads where you've had flat tires of life and you and you have had to ride a spare tire to get to that next exit. Something that it's like you had to ride on faith just to get to that next exit to where you had that security to move on again. This is what I feel like some of you all have been have had to face certain things in life these karmic cycles, there has been, it's it's just been a bumpy road sometimes and you've tried to build from this and now you're seeing your, instead of you looking at your resilience as I'm tired of always having to fight, I'm tired of always having to 
Um, why do I keep facing these hardships in life? It's like you're seeing something now in a way where it's like, I'm glad I was equipped to face these hardships in life. Like I had what I needed to face those, you know? You had that extra, figuratively speaking, you had that extra spare tire in the back, you know? Temperance card and the strength card. Again, I keep feel like some of you all are realizing you're looking back, you know, hindsight is 2020 vision and you're looking back and realizing that your courage got you through a lot and that you are truly, sometimes you have been truly riding on faith alone. Times you've taken falls in life and it has not been easy at all to get back up from these tower moments. Um, sometimes you could have felt like you were the only one. You didn't have that security that you really needed. All you just had was that little, you know, spare tire to get you to the next town or to the next gas station. So you could, I don't even want to speak about the gas station. That's like a nightmare right now. <laughs> okay. Let's get back into the reading. Cause woo, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but I kind of, I just feel like you will have been in some energy where you really have, you're really starting to see that even though some of these things have been really hard for you to get through, things have been, it's just been hard for you to overcome. But it's like, instead of looking at it from a victim standpoint, you're looking at it more from a survivor standpoint, like... I overcame that. I got through this and I had the tools to get through it or I utilized what I had. And this is the beauty that you're seeing. This is how your beauty has manifested in your life in other ways where I get that you're learning to like times you could be looking back and say, you know, well, negative things happened and it caused a lot of stress and I, I focused on it for far too long and it caused it manifested into other negative areas it, or, it, you know, played out and in, in, um, sort of seeped into other areas of my life that was negative. But I do see you're starting to see something differently now. Um, and it's bringing you in all of this love, Pisces, just a lot of self-love. You're even attracting love. And I like that. You have the... You have the page of wands here and you have the eight of swords here. So with this eight of swords, you're really in that you could be feeling this process has made you feel vulnerable at times. This whole process of loving yourself, of coming to that realization, looking back at what you survived and maybe even looking at it like you can't even believe you survived some of the things you survived and you're still intact with a sound mind, it's like you're getting, you're getting that confirmation to move forward. It's like, it's even invigorating to you now. You, you're seeing something that you looked at as a weakness before. Now you're looking at it as power. Um, it's something, it's almost like, you know, you look, you're looking at, you had everything that you need. You could be really communicating with this at this time. Like I said, feeling a lot more confident about what you're going through with this page of wands, uh, willing, being optimistic too, willing to go after something a lot faster and get away from this constantly feeling vulnerable um, times. You're even not even worried about what may happen because you're like, okay, I've survived so much. You know, like why should I focus on, why should I have fear in my heart about what may happen Look at what I've already survived. You know what I mean? Like that kind of energy is what I see, Pisces. Yeah, you have the moon card and you have the 10 of cups here. So this is, I get that you sometimes don't even want to celebrate. You don't even, it's almost like, I, I feel like you, when you have, when you have these accomplishments in your life or you have these bouts of happiness where you're seeing the good within you, I get that you don't even always want to tell everybody what your goals are and what your, you know, how happy things are. You kind of even hide your happiness or celebrations, maybe because times you've 
shown how happy or excited you were about something, then here comes negative energy or it's like, you know, what's going to happen? So many good things are happening in my life right now. You know, what's going to happen? Like, is something bad going to happen? I, you're, it's like you're retraining your thought process to just enjoy, just live in the moment. Um, this has been a work in progress, though. I see you are learning to finally live in the moment and be happy when happy, celebrate when those happy times come and then and not worry about what is to come as far as the negative. Uh, why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? The ace of cups. <laughs> And the three of pentacles. So I even see Pisces, you may be on defense about offers that are coming in just because you've been through so much. Um, you may have someone who wants to collabor collaborate with you, you know, to help you kind of get over tough times or accomplish another goal in your life. But I see you kind of maybe be pushing people away and wanting to go at something alone, kind of take this new start or something in your life alone, just because you may be going through something where, you know, you just, it's you, I kind of feel like you're, something good is coming in for you, like a collaboration, some sort of offer of kindness or something, but you're looking at it as I've accomplished so much by myself. So why do I need you? Or what is your real intention? Why do you want to help me? That's what I see. Like, why do you want to help me? Um, and I don't know what this is, whether this is work related or, you know, just a friendship, like somebody's offering a friendship to you, or maybe somebody has, they see you as they're seeing you sort of like how you see yourself as you know, you have a lot of good in you. So maybe they are trying to offer you something, but I see you kind of looking at it in a way like you, you know, you could kind of do a lot on your own and it, you may just be looking at this like, why, why do you want to offer me this? Why do you want to work with me or something like that? Um, so please don't mess up some good opportunities because you're so used to going at things like the lone wolf, you know? see some opportunities coming in for you Pisces okay then you have this you have the page of cups and you have the um, six of wands here so a beautiful transformation a beautiful a lot of, of a lot of wonderful things happening in your life um, I see a new opportunity coming in for you because I see like with this cup this this page of cups you may be getting some information about a new opportunity something that um something that is going to open your mind like your solar plexus something that's going to open your mind and kind of make you feel good about a situation a connection um helping you see your higher self the newness or something about you like in some sort of experience in your life i see a lot of communication with this blue right here with this blue butterfly a lot of self-expression feeling more confident about expressing yourself things are definitely turning around for you um there's also i see that with that blue that also puts me in that throat chakra energy where you're communicating about what you have been through, the sort of transformation. You're, you could be um, learning to speak highly of yourself at this time. Again, maybe you were not getting all the, you know, like maybe you weren't getting, people weren't seeing the good in you, or maybe they were, they saw the good in you, but were only voicing the negative that they saw. And I get that you internalized someone else's projection of you. Um, which could have been totally off. Uh, so it just looks like you're learning to not absorb other negative energy, other people projections of you. And I do see you sort of communicating, uh, learning to communicate and stand up for yourself and not be ashamed of this transformation that you've had. So I do see some sort of surprise communication between you and someone. Um, hmm. Yeah, you do have the Ace of Swords here and you have the, um, and you have the, 
four of wands. So a lot of clarity starting over from this tower moment. A lot of celebration, a lot of happy times, a lot of joy and laughter due to this clarity. Um, it's almost like this tower moment was a blessing in disguise, Pisces. Some tower moments that you faced in your life has ha really helped you see yourself in a totally different way. Um, see yourself as more of a warrior as opposed to a victim. Like I said, a survivor more than a victim. Um, because it's like I said, you're looking back at and, and almost in disbelief of some of the things that you have survived in this life or what you've overcome or... Um, the fact that you are even seeing yourself in such a beautiful way, you're still able to see the good in you, regardless of who told you all the bad about you or something. Let's see. Why is the school card here? Why is the school card here? Oh, the star card and the, the king of pentacles. Beautiful. So this new start that you're wishing for, that you are trying to manifest. I see this is put bringing a lot of stability to your energy, to your life. Um, the fact that you're consciously removing these negative sneaky thoughts, you know, trying to seep in every time you have another accomplishment or, you know, you have some sort of, you get another pentacle, you know, something that brings, it puts a smile on your face, another accomplishment in life. It's like, it's almost, I kind of feel like you sometimes even look for, like everything is going so well. When is something bad going to happen? Because that is what you're used to. And then look at the cards on the bottom. The two of cups. Pisces, you're learning to love yourself so much that you're even attracting love. This is what good energy, this is how good energy works. It's it's like you've learned so much from being put down or people like harshly judging you. You've learned to even, you've learned to see the good in your imperfections. Um, things that may have wore, you know, kind of wore down on your self-esteem. Maybe you were comparing yourself to others or maybe, I don't know, maybe people were comparing you to others. I don't know, but it's something that was happening in your life that you really had to sort of change your uh, perspective on. So you could see that the fact that you have made mistakes, you're not perfect, you've done things, you've said things. You know, maybe you have some regrets or something like that. Uh, maybe you have no regrets. Maybe, sure, if you could do it all again, you would. Who knows? But it does look like you're seeing yourself in a different way. And this is even attracting love into your life. Not only self, your self-love is attracting, that internal love is, ex is attracting external love. I like this. I really like that. Okay. Healing. Now is a time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. So you may be an inspiration to someone else. Someone else may be going through what you have already overcome, obstacles that you have already overcome. And they were scary when you were going through them, Pisces. You didn't know what was going to happen, how, the, how things were going to turn out. But I get that you're learning to kind of go with the flow now because you've been through so much, you've survived so much you've overcome so much that you have learned to almost kind of heal yourself. Um, and I see you being an inspiration for others who are going through things in their life as well. I love that. Okay. Moderation. Is there something, you know, you shouldn't be eating? Try to get, try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So yes, yeah, so it, you could really enjoy food. Some of you all are in, into culinary arts. Um, so where you may taste a lot of things or you may cook, you may bake a lot. If you're not into culinary, you may bake a lot or you may just like food, you know? Um, so I get that you're learning even how to, even it's like you're learning how to accept yourself for who you are. Even if you're a little overweight, you may be learning to eat more in moderation because that's a part of self-love. But I don't see you cutting everything out completely. You know, it's like you're learning to eat 
and not have to worry about, oh, if I eat this, people, because I'm already overweight, people are going to say something. It's like you're like, okay, so what? I can I can have a, a you know, few scoops of ice cream here and there, you know, or I can have a slice of pizza here and there or something. It's like you're doing something in moderation and you don't care who see what. Like you, you could realize at this point where no matter what your size is, no matter what your height, your weight, your race, your complexion, your your financial status, your your gender, none of that matters because people, if they want to judge you, they will, point blank, period. So it's like you're learning to have that power in seeing the beauty in yourself. This has been a, a long, uh, this has been a process though. This hasn't happened overnight. Um, you've had to overcome thinking a certain way or seeing yourself through negative people eyes, like seeing yourself through people's projection of, you know, they were projecting how their insecurities on you. And I get that you sort of internalize some of that sometimes. You do, and then the, it says fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing is believing, but in the fact, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. So it's something that you believe in, like you're manifesting this. You're manifest something in your mind. You're manifesting right before your eyes. So it's like whatever you truly believe in, you can bring forth. So you, be, you, if you believe that you're beautiful inside and out, you that you harness that kind of energy, and then it comes out in other areas of your life. Flourish, the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experiences and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. Yep, so anything that you've realized that you need to work on that isn't clear to you, this could have, like I said, like you're seeing, you're pulling those little nuggets of yourself together and pulling them together and realizing that they make you who you are the beautiful person you are. It's teaching you how to flourish too, how to grow. And I get the more that you see the beauty in you and have this, you know what, this care, this attitude of I'm human, I'm not perfect. And that within itself is great. The more you're seeing that within yourself, it's like you're even helping others build their confidence in themselves. Um, Nature signs, be respective to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continuously. Um, we need we need only open our hearts and minds. I can't even see it. Why am I? I'm so used to not wearing glasses when I do these readings. And then when I, when I have to read these, I'll be like, okay, everything looked the same. Abundance, prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. This is what I see, Pisces. You really do have some things changing in your life. And that abundance, if you feel like you deserve this abundance, it will, you will attract that to you. If you feel like, if you're telling yourself that you deserve to, you know, be loved and treated the right way and have an abundant life, a life of abundance, of prosperity and happiness. That's what you will attract. Um, I do see some sort of offer being made to you that you may be hesitant to take through. You may be sort of like pushing it away because you kind of may, you may not trust it. Um, but I, it, it looks like something that is sincere. Someone wants to collaborate with you and it looks like it's on a sincere level but you may turn it down because you just don't trust something maybe you're just used to going at everything alone um but you know use your discernment work through it see if it's you know look through it don't be so quick to turn everything down um due to some sort of sneaky negative thoughts that you know may try to creep into your mind things like that all right, Pisces, that is the end of your reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will be putting out a few more readings. And um, let's see where this goes. Talk with you later.